Uh, hello, everyone. I'm here to give you a very brief introduction of how BOI facilitates the research development in China. Uh, I'm from Chinese BOI Registration Center, uh, Service Center. Yeah. Uh, uh, here's the three parts of my introduction. Uh, at first, uh, here comes the uh, Chinese UI background. Uh, Chinese UI is the first UI service in China and Asia. It's, it's established in early 2007, uh, founded by ISTIC and Langkong Data. Uh, we are the first UI RA in, China, uh, in, in Asia. And up to now, uh, we have the largest one. And we, our service is, in, is a, a not-for-profit service uh, because the uh, ISTIC is a national institute and the most uh, providing public welfare service. And Bangkok Data uh, co limited founded in 2000 uh, by uh, is tick. Uh, data is the first database development company in China. Uh, and now the main SDM information service provider of China. Uh, Chinese BOI service focusing on the promotion of linking and sharing of Chinese contents with BOI service. Uh, we have highlighted uh, in SDM journals, science data as a beginning, and we set up the portal and service website and system. Uh, and we keep uh, operating and promotion of the UI registration, resolution, and value added service. And now, Chinese UI have uh, 34 million UIs and took the seven place in all IDFRAs, uh, including 30 million journal UIs over more than uh, 7,000 journal titles and uh, 3.5 million dissertation UIs. Mm -hmm. And we also have uh, 25,000 uh, science data UIs. Uh, uh, we registered uh, for ebooks, conference proceedings, and preprints, uh, pre and so on. And besides uh, uh, our own service, we are also only the only uh, sponsoring organization of Crosswrap in China. We help publishers in China, especially the English journal titles, to become Crosswrap members. Uh, use the course of UI registration, similarity check for English articles and cited by surveys and so on. And we connect the Chinese UI system uh, with course web system and provide more valuable, uh, more value-added services. And now comes to the second part uh, how do I facilitate research development in China? Uh, firstly, uh, DOIs has uh, already become the basic equipment of STM journals in China. Uh, you can see you can see them uh, printed in papers uh, and displayed on websites and embedded. Uh, into the uh, QR code uh, that uh, that can be scanned by uh, smartphones and added uh, also added uh, to the references and UI service help researchers and publishers more just like uh, the UI lookup and reference globalization service. Researchers can put their uh, put the title of the article 
uh, on the homepage of Chinese UI website and uh, get the uh, get the UI and metadata of the article, uh, as well as the standard citation format here, uh, according to the uh, national standard of reference rules in China. And uh, and as the uh, as the largest science and technology information institute in China, uh, ISTIC has many cooperation with international publishers. When ISTIC helps uh, elsewhere to collect the Chinese titles uh, into scholars, they reached an agreement that Chinese journals can use UI reference linking as an alternative to translating all the Chinese reference into English. I think that makes sense and is very helpful to the Chinese journal publisher. And UI also facilitates uh, open access in China. Um, most uh, Chinese journal titles are held by very small uh, editorial offices uh, instead of big publisher houses. They used to be collected uh, in uh, online databases, such like one Pound data journal database, to be accessed online. About 10 years ago, some Chinese journals began to set up their own websites and put put their full text there. We started to promote the OA plus UI propagation more towards Chinese journal publishers. Just as the illustration here uh, for Chinese medical journal. Yeah. Uh, uh, up to now, uh, more than 2,000 Chinese journal titles uh, transfer have transferred to open access from the subscription world uh, with UIs linking to their own journal websites but most of them are browse are browse OA no clear uh, declaration of open access but only free to read and more and more new native online golden OA journals uh, are creating in China. They register uh, DOIs for their articles with Chinese DOI service for Corsa and try to add their metadata and DOIs to as many journal in indexes as possible to increase the uh, discovery of the opportunities. Uh, in recent years, uh, preprints get fast growth progress uh, worldwide with the new open access form. In China, uh, the Chinese Academy of Science founded the first preprint platform in China, named the China Times. And in 2020, because of the COVID 19 pandemic, more preprint uh, platforms established in China especially in the uh, biomedicine area. Uh, from 2018, Chinese DOI started DOI registration for uh, preprints, and we have uh, registered about uh, 1,000 preprints for China Time and other two biomedicine preprint uh, platforms. And we plan to connect uh, Preprints UIs with articles UIs in Chinese UI system next year. Uh, as to the science data, we launched the data UI as a main service in 2008 to uh, accelerate science data reusing, sharing, publication, and citation in China. Recent years, uh, the UI numbers uh, increase fast. Uh, now we have uh, 50 members from the top research institutes or national science data sharing platforms, data centers, uh, 
But the quality of the CCS registered uh, still grow not so fast. We have uh, 25,000 science data uh, UIs uh, of different research area now. We also did a research project and uh, uh, the common data citation format as below. Uh, here's an example of uh, a data publishing uh, platform from one of our member. Uh, it's their website. Uh, yeah, you can see the UI. And the uh, solution is also include, including the UI number. And here's the their data paper with the data citation. Uh, yeah. uh, the third part about the standardization related to UI. Uh, if we can, one more thing is that the UI national standard for, from 2014, identical to the ISO standard of UI system, and uh, it's published in 2018. And in the national standard of rules for reference and citations, published in 2015, uh, it is common to use UI in references, uh, especially uh, required in the e sources, the e sources uh, reference. And here's an example. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we uh, actually, we have been doing some research or experimental projects as well. And we're testing UIs for security information disclosure now with, uh, with the stock exchange in China, uh, including the uh, registered UIs, registered UIs for all kinds of announcements, documents, and uh, it says. Uh, we want to promote the uh, normalized using or slightly of disclosed data and review the updating status for effectiveness of the announcements, uh, and usage and citation statistics for dis uh, disclosed data. Uh, that's all for my. Uh, uh, that uh, instruction of uh, induction of uh, the uh, UI development in China. At last, uh, I'd like to share our vision that all the uh, PIDs can work together to facilitate the uh, association and the fusion of the uh, science and technology resources. Uh, and in, in uh, open, uh, open science involves all kinds of research entities or ST resources. We hope Chinese DOI can work together with the, uh, other DOI RAs, uh, other uh, PID providers, and uh, users to make the PIDs act as the bridge Connecting all kinds of SD resources to provide the infrastructure for open science. Yeah, that's all. Thank you, everybody. Uh, here's Thank how you. I uh, why I end the event. Thank you. Thank you. Um, questions. We have a couple of questions. Um, if anyone's got any more, it's not too late to post them. Um, the first one was that obviously, um, I don't know if you can see those questions as well on the little thing there. Um, OA journals in China, do they charge APCs or are they sponsored by the organization which runs the journal? I think you, you gave the impression that the, the OA journals were run by the yeah. organization. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, I, I think uh, some of them are, char are charging APCs and uh, uh, Fewer of them uh, sponsored by the sponsored by the organization. Yeah, but 
but the but the to read exit the read access of most of them is still OA. Is that correct? Uh, sorry. Uh, they, yeah, yeah. Readers. Yes. Uh, they, yeah. they they can read them uh, for free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, second okay. one was: Could you collaborate more about the reference normalization service that you referred to? This is about halfway through, I think. I... Oh yeah. Uh, uh, sure. Maybe I can share it uh, after the meeting. Sure. If you could put it into the uh, okay. the Slack. Uh, this, uh, Slack. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or if if you do it yeah, now, I'll you could put it that. into the chat. But um, uh -huh. and the this one is actually from me. I just wondered you took you mentioned research software at the end, but what uh, currently what's the practice in China? Is it common for research software uh -huh. to be assigned an identifier? Is that a practice? Mm -hmm. I I think it's not so uh, common. Yeah. No. To, to register the UI for the software. Uh, but uh, it's more and more, uh, I, I think we can, uh, we can register the UI for software uh, uh, using our, with our uh, data UI service, but there's no, uh, so many, no, no many uh, developers uh, on no many uh, uh, institutes to register their software, yeah. Uh, right for their DOI, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, has anyone else got thank any you. questions? We've still got um, thirty odd people online who've been extremely patient. Thank you very much for giving us that really interesting insight into China, and also thank you to all the people who've contributed to this session, um, which has been very yeah. diverse. But um, any last last call for any any remaining questions uh, if not people of course can continue the conversation on slack and also the presentations and the uh, will be available to look at again if you want to go back and revisit um, enjoy the rest of Peter Palooza I will uh, sign off thank you thank you bye bye